What's up, y'all? Hope you are doing well and I'm very excited to get to this week's dev updates as we have so many exciting things and yeah, let's get to it. And a lot of the exciting things have to do with stuff we're working on long term, so really awesome stuff. Let's dive deep into the number stuff. So on daily active users, decreased a bit, 92 from the dip, all good. Weekly active users, same stuff, 260, slight dip. Core group, around the same, 66. Big friends, holders, very excited, 134 to 142, so eight increase. And we also had our first official sale from uh, not like OTC, private, et cetera, but publicly on OpenSea. So I'm very stoked about that. And uh, shout out to Mr. House for joining us. And yeah, it's going to be super dope. And that's a very big milestone for us. I'm happy for that. Then let's see, value adding system. We have around eight weekly active posters. So not as much this week, but totally chill from the market dip. That's why we were lacking a bit in the bounties, but um, people were having fun with the game nights and the other stuff. Then same, which reflected in the participants, around 55, slight dip too. Twitter accounts, same thing, around 10.2K. Cultivating Discord, four new members joined, 727 to 731. Then, so welcome in. High quality collabs, we got Planet Atmos, Knights of Ether, Blast Royale, Crown Chasers, Pull Masters, shout out to Spidey for setting it up, and the other one, Overtrip, now we have that Game Nights, shout out to Mars for setting it up, Paladins Dow, Eve Lizards, Lazy Soccer, Catalyst, Mixed Mob Games, The Roundtable, The Wardens, Cozyverse, Clash, Kjen. Then around 2200 for giveaways, so we passed the 150 Giveaways milestone, so 151,740, not bad. Then number three, any exciting things the community finds exciting that we can realize more? Um, it's the usual, the play to airdrop contains lots of more meme coins. Uh, oh yeah, exciting news, uh, we're actually thinking of making a meme coin since I remember uh, Jaja Bang gang, gang big. okay, Jaja Bang, his name, something like that. He mentioned that Arbitrum doesn't really have any high quality meme coins. So I think uh, we can probably make like a coin called like a fake or something, or Dimajel if wanted something like a FFS. So we could think of that the next two weeks. Maybe you can allocate it to fake friends, holders, um, Wolves Out holders, other partner communities like uh, Pounders Out holders, uh, Catalyst members, the round table, those folks, uh, maybe our game partners too, like Planet Amos, Mix Mob, and Dust Bakers, a bunch of other stuff. So we'll figure it out in the next two weeks and then we'll create it for fun, see how it goes. Maybe we can create a fun system since right now we're doing like a buyback system uh, every time we have net profits. So every like one to three months. So we're doing that for fake friend entities, but I wonder if we can also do that for tokens too, or we can also give away tokens too. Maybe we can substitute a lot of the boost point system with an actual token or to maybe like a airdrop it like every two three months or something or to compensate community leaders i think that could be a great utility just uh every month people get paid in these meme coins and yeah i think that could be really dope dislikes i'm on this farming social farming i'm starting to see more people get banned which sucks so yeah be careful you're with your social farming, feel free to use an alt account for that. Then number four, what did our team do well? So this engage across get our community members. I think our community team, like we all Deku, they're doing an amazing job at that, reaching out to collaborate with our amazing communities. And I think it's really dope that we're now solidifying a lot of these more relationships, right? Like uh, expanding upon our initial core group and now we're just continuously chatting with these new people in the group chats, uh, support tickets, etc. And it's been super dope. Then experimenting with new stuff like a planet alt account system, uh, thinking of the meme coins, different new chains like uh, Blast, Cosmos, etc. And then expanding our horizons. I think it's very important for us to really continuously educate ourselves and to try new things. So we'll continue doing that. Number five, what can our team improve on? Uh, I think. Yeah, we're still getting back to the usual routine of things, which ties to the other improvements like uh, us needing to execute on time, whether that be the weekly check-ins, whether that be communicating on time. And I think our second main one would be really zoning in on proof of our package offers. So 
great news. We are getting bigger, like a 3 to 12 month deals. However, I do want to really refine that package for that first better first impression. You know, we do have really great services, but at the same time, like uh, right now, we're just sending in like Google Docs and stuff. So uh, I think we should create like a more aesthetic package, which, uh, yeah, we haven't really been focusing as much. So we will really zone in on that this following weeks. Then six, what did you find surprising fun? Um, yeah, wholesome vibes of community, people just kickstarting combos with each other and chatting with judges for fun casually and super dope to see, you know. And uh, people sharing collabs with each other's communities and sharing like airdrop codes and stuff, really dope. Then uh, community members loving the new artwork. Uh, yep, we've been experimenting with new art styles and he feels crushed it with his latest batch. I remember seeing it where you know, I think uh, with different batches, sometimes there's usually like a mix of good and ones in the improvement, but he had like a really great batch where there's like 10 like really great ones. And I've also been experimenting with the more like realistic anime, rep, like darker style. And we've been really refining those two styles and it's been super dope just refining them. So, and people have loved them where they're, they just replaced it with their PFP, like shouts to uh, Job Story. He replaced his Twitter PFP with that and got like Emote. Then we got uh, May Rituals and stuff, and yeah, you got King Snooch, shout out to him for uh, posting about us on Twitter. So yeah, it's really dope to seeing everyone rocking in and how they're so excited to see their dream NFTs come true. And seven, and, uh, updates on the long-term business revenue generation methods. Previously, number one was like the custom gen NFTs, then it was referrals, then it was agency, but now with the longer term deals, agency got bumped up to our number one revenue generation method. Then based off of these current long term deals, I think referral links might actually make us more than these custom generated NFTs. So it might actually get bumped to number two, but over time, I believe, as you know, like let's say, for example, we do like a partnership with a blockchain, maybe we get a referral code, we refer creators, we refer creators, refer their community members, and then we get like an allocation of that or something and whitelist, NFTs, tokens, etc. So yeah, I think that could be our number two soon, but as of now, custom gen NFTs are still number two, but definitely see that coming in the future for it to switch, but we'll see. Then let's see. Skin roadmap on time. Yep, still focused on refining our packages this month. And the other notes, uh, no, just uh, another exciting week of execution. And I'm really happy about how far we've gone. You know, this is our 25th check in. We're a quarter done with this 100 series journey. And hopefully, we continue that in the future. Go past 100, go to like, yeah, whatever we want to go to. And yeah, if you made it this far, message me. What's your favorite latest song you've been listening to? Uh, I've listened to a lot of uh, Illits. They're like a new like hype band, from, like you know, like New Jeans and stuff. So I really like their song uh, "Midnight Fantasy." Uh, I think um, other people I know, like my girlfriend, her friends, they like Magnetic. So super funny. And we also watched the Lucier film set on Coachella. So uh, that was a great song. I think they're pretty good for unforgiving and easy performances and stuff. So that's enough. K pop rambling. Let me know what's your favorite. So, hope you have a good day and chat via all Discord, Twitter, Telegram, etc. See you.